Hey there, Chase from High Level here, and I need to build out a reminder campaign for our monthly town hall that takes place the first Wednesday of every month. So I figured I'd record the process so you guys could follow along. Before we get started, I already have my registration page created. I have my thank you page created. I also have two reminder emails already built out in the email builder. So if you're gonna build something like this, you might wanna pause right now, go build those things out, and then come back and hit play. All right, so let's hop over to workflows and let's get started building. All right, so there are two ways that folks can get into this reminder campaign. Uh, they can either click a trigger link that I'm going to put into our weekly roundup email, or they could fill out the form on the registration page. So I'm gonna set both of those up as triggers. So the first one is a trigger link clicked, and I'm going to add a filter for the specific trigger link. So this is a subscribe to town hall and I'll name this subscribed to subscribe to town hall trigger link clicked. The second way to get into this campaign is if you fill out the registration form. So I'm going to do form submitted and I'm going to add a filter to specify which form. So the form is my town hall register, town hall register form submitted. Okay, great, I have both my uh, triggers saved, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Okay, now we're gonna get started with the reminders. And when I sat down to do this, I thought, hmm, I could probably build out something really elegant that's a loop that just loops over and over again, and it basically uses wait steps where I would go, okay, wait until, and I would set an advance window, and I would say, okay, is the current day of the month the first of the month? So I could do that, right? So wait until first of month. And then I was thinking I could add another one that said wait until it's Wednesday. So basically hold them here until Wednesday, turn my window off, wait until Wednesday. And that would get me the first Wednesday of the month. So this would work if I only wanted to send reminder emails on that day. So I could send my reminder email here, and then I could basically add a go to step and loop them back to the beginning where they'd wait until the first of the next month. So that could work if all you need to do is send one quick reminder or reminders that day. This breaks down though if you want to send a reminder the day before, right? Because when they get here, it's the first, and this is a problem when, for my example, when a Wednesday is the first of the month. Um, because they come in, it's the first, they move forward, it is Wednesday, they're gonna get the reminders and there's no chance to send before timing. So what I'm actually gonna do is build this out in a different way. So let me delete these real quick. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to use our set event start date. This is gonna allow me to pick a specific date and time and then change it once I need to roll into my next month's reminder. So my first event is going to be on a specific date and time and it's April 6th. And it's going to be because my sub account time zone is Pacific. So this is 8 a.m. Pacific. It's actually 10 a.m. Central. All right, and I'm gonna be specific here. So set event start time to April 6th. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so now the workflow is, is knows that there's an event on this day and time. So what I can then do is add a wait step, and I would switch this over to an event or appointment time, because this is gonna read this event time, and now I could do before timing. So I could say before one day, so wait, till before one day and then I could send an email that is a 24 hour reminder that it's coming up. So I'm actually not going to do day before reminders. I'm only going to do day of. So I could have built this out with a loop, but I wanted to do both just so you could see. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change my wait until before one hour. So wait till before one hour, save. 
and then I'm going to send my reminder email. So now I built these out in the email builder so they could look very nice. So I'm just going to select the template. So I'm a, I'll search my one hour reminder here. It automatically populates the info that I set up in the email builder. So I'm ready to go. So now I'm gonna add another wait because I want to send a 10 minute reminder as well. So again, I go event appointment time before 10 minutes. Wait until 10 minutes before. Save that and now I will send my 10 minute reminder template. So town hall, 10 minute reminder, and let's just label these uh, to be thorough. Oops, reminder email. And this was my one hour reminder email. Okay, great, so I'm good to go for my next event. So now I'm just gonna go clone all these steps for each of the following months and then I'm gonna set myself a reminder at the end of it, at the end of the year, to come back and update the dates for next year. So now that we have the clone and move steps, uh, this becomes super easy, right? So I can come over here and click copy and I can copy all the actions from here. So it's gonna grab all of these and I'm gonna basically hit paste and boom. So now it copied all of these and dropped them below. And so all I have to do now is come and change my dates. So I've got April 6th, then I go to May, and my first Wednesday in May is the 4th. The time is gonna stay the same. So I'm just gonna change my date in my label, May 4th, and I'm going to hit save. Okay, so now the system sets, it resets the date for this workflow to that date and time. And now I, my before uh, waits time up to that. So I don't have to change any of this. This is all still good to go because my emails are just, hey, you know, the town hall starting in an hour and then, hey, the town hall starting in 10 minutes. So now I can just keep doing this for the rest of the year. So I'll do it once more and then I won't make you watch the rest. So I'm gonna hit copy, copy all actions from here, copy them to there, and here we go. Here's my latest set. So this was May, so now I go June, the first Wednesday's on the first. This is the one that would have caused me problems in my loop if I wanted to do uh, before timing. So I go ahead and set that to June 1st, change my label. Boom, all right, so I'm gonna go build the rest of these out. I will be right back. All right, so I've made it to the end of the year, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a go-to step and this is going to loop them all the way back up to the beginning. And now I'm just gonna build in my uh, reminder to myself. So basically in November, I'm gonna uh, remind myself, so I'm gonna send an internal notification, and this is going to be an email uh, it's going to go to a particular user. That user is going to be me. Uh, this will come from high level. And this is going to be, um, let's call it town hall at gohighlevel.com. Actually, I'm going to make it no reply so it's consistent. And my subject is going to be red alert. So red alert update town hall reminder dates okay go update the town hall reminder workflow okay now i could have used a task step um, if i wanted to i'm probably going to also send myself a text message just so i don't miss this so I'm going to send an SMS and it'll be the same message and it's going to be a particular user. That user is gonna be me and we will uh, not use the template. So we're just going to hit save. Okay, great, so I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. I'm going to hit save and I'm good to go. So this is gonna run in November. It's gonna remind me to come update the dates so that when it loops, it'll be ready again for next year. But we can see how the uh, set event start date and time action in workflows is super powerful. We could also see how cool it could be to just build a loop for every month if that's gonna work for you as well.